So Christmas came a little early and I got a care package from Midwest Panels. So Christmas came a little early and Midwest Panels sent me an awesome care package. And uh, it's, uh, it's an overwhelming amount of stuff that they sent me. It was four big boxes, a couple hundred pounds. Uh, and I've been uh, opening them up and sorting it all this evening. I was doing some alodining and going through some fuselage parts, but I quickly shifted gears and uh, moved to avionics extravaganza. Yeah, I'm zooming in on, that's what I was doing right before the UPS guy showed up. That, that's been forgotten. So uh, anyway, we're on to the fun stuff. Uh, I'm going to kind of, just as I'm talking, uh, kind of go through and look at some of the stuff I got. Uh, I, uh, I, this is my dream plane I've been wanting for a long time and saving up for. And, uh, so I, I kind of let loose and we've loaded this baby up. Uh, the, uh, the avionics, uh, I'm a little ahead of schedule, as you can see, seeing that I have no parts of the fuselage basically built. Uh, I originally put in a deposit with Midwest panels back the same, t the same week that I ordered my kit, which was March of 21, if I believe, I think that's right. So I received my kit in March of 22. I worked on it for a few months, but was missing an enormous amount of backordered parts and missing parts. Um, and then I, I ended up retiring and moving and I had to pack everything up. And then the house I purchased uh, needed an extensive amount of renovation. So I ended up taking about an eight month pause from my build. Uh, in the meantime, I had kicked the can down the road a couple of times with, uh, with Midwest panels, uh, but we were coming up on some big price increases or expected price increases uh, from all the avionics manufacturers. So I, uh, I just decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and just go ahead and get things moving. Uh, so Midwest panels put me in their production queue. They ordered all the equipment and they started working on my wiring harnesses and the panel. So, uh, Obviously, I'm way ahead of schedule, but it'll be nice to have all the uh, the cabling ready to just lay in as I get parts built. Um, Midwest Panels had already sent me the wing harness and uh, the tail harness, uh, so this is the main harness. Uh, so I can just lay these in as I get to that point, which hopefully will be pretty soon. But I uh, just kind of wanted to explain that uh, a little bit because uh, normally most people wouldn't get their stuff this early. But uh, and the, the 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 big the big tamale there the um, the main panel. So anyway, uh, I was was able to change the order and get the newest IntelliKey NGR that, that Midwest Panels just came out with. Uh, which is very cool. I like the idea of the recording and the downloading capability of that. Uh, it was just a little bit more expensive than the, I think I, I originally was slated to get the second generation system. And this is the panel. Um, again, it's pretty common to what everybody else is getting just because it's so compact. When you put those uh, G3X screens in there, it fills up most of the space. I did get backlighting and the, the IntelliKey keyless entry. Um, I've got oxygen, so there's two holes for the oxygen. And I've got uh, charging ports on both sides. So lots of parts to work through. Uh, for now, I got everything inventoried and uh, I just got to get it stored. So earlier in the week, I went by a, a local automotive paint distributor and I picked up uh, an epoxy uh, primer and a uh, urethane paint in a gray color to paint the uh, the inside of the, the aircraft. Uh, I wanted to shift away from the uh, the chromated epoxy for the uh, the finish coat items. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, I haven't painted anything yet, so I don't have any demonstrations of what the color is going to look like. But hopefully, it'll uh, it'll match my upholstery pretty good. Uh, here I'm just showing you the uh, the ribs of the the rear fuselage that I built uh, last week. I'm still missing some parts um, over here. I, I took off the audio was not good, so uh, uh, the back rib assembly that's kind of a complicated arrangement there at the tail. I'm missing two parts, so therefore it really doesn't behoove me to start moving forward because I, I'm going to have to take out that whole back assembly and add some parts when they come in. 
So it's uh, it's really, I just, I went ahead and put in the Longerons. I got everything primed or aladined and uh, uh, the rivets that you're allowed to put in at this stage are in place. So that assembly is, uh, is just gonna go put on a shelf and it be in a holding pattern until I, uh, I get those two parts. Well, actually it's three parts that I need to get the rear fuselage. But as you see, I got the ribs done. I think it'll be a, f a few hours and I'll have the rear fuselage done. Uh, I also did a bunch of priming. I primed all of the rest of the uh, fuselage skins, the exterior. Uh, so this is the inside of my, my world famous Harbor Freight paint booth um, slash car shelter. Uh, so I got all the skins held up. Um, I thought they turned out pretty good. I ran out of a little bit of paint towards the end and uh, a couple areas, the primer's a little thin, but honestly, you're really not supposed to put it on too thick. It's just not necessary. Uh, so uh, I, I was pretty happy with the results. Having them uh, uh, hanging in a sort of closed-in environment makes an enormous difference. And I'm hoping that'll help me out when I get to painting real stuff with real paint. So next week I'll be at Sun and Fun. I'll be dropping some uh, air show videos and some walk-arounds from the show. So a little shift from the build. Uh, I'll get out of town, uh, but hopefully y'all will watch and, and enjoy those. Have a good day.